I'd like to share with you on this week's parsha. Achrei, something very nice from the Rebbe's father, Rebbe Levi Yitzhak Zatzal. In this week's parsha, we have the, the whole service that the high priest, the Kohen Gadol, would do in the Beis Hamikdash on Yom Kippur. And he would pray for the Jewish people, but also he would ask Hashem for forgiveness on all the sins that both himself he did and also for the nation. And it says, Vechipe ba'adoi u ba'ad beisoi. He should first ask forgiveness for himself, and then he should ask forgiveness for others, for the nation. And this makes sense because if the Kohen Godel had the sins or blemishes, then it will be difficult for him to pray on behalf of the Jewish people to erase their sins. And similarly, brings down Rabbi Levit, so we find in the Gemara that Yutes in Mesichta Sanhedrin, the Gemara says, Kishoit Atzmacho, Bachakach, Kishoit Achedev. That you should first adorn yourself, beautify yourself, and afterwards you can beautify and fix up, polish up other people. Which means that if you want to correct other people with their flaws and sins, if you have the same sin, you won't be able to convince them, you won't be able to uplift them and elevate them. So first, correct yourself and then correct others. So we see first starts with the person himself and then he's able to elevate others. Ask Rebbe Levi Yitzhak, it seems like a little contradiction. We find a Gemara in Boba Kama, that Sadiq Beis Amar Aleph. The Gemara says like Omelay Mori. Uh, Amalei Rabba. Rabba said to Rabba Bar Mori. See what the name of it is going to be important. To Rabba asked to Rabba Bar Mori. Rabba, the son of Mori. For where do we know this saying? That whoever beseeches, seeks out, asks Hashem for mercy, Rachamim, for somebody else, if he needs the same thing, he will be answered first. But over, he, over there it says, Whoever asks mercy from Hashem for his friend first, then he will be blessed. He will be answered first. So it starts with the others, and then it comes back to him. So why by, when, you're at, when the Kohen God is asking for sins, he first has to ask for himself, and then he asks for others. And by the comes to asking Hashem for his mercy, over there, it's better to ask for others, and then you will be answered first. What's the reason for that? Answer, Rabbi Levi, it's so, so very simple. It's all hinted in the words. There's a very big difference when you want to erase sins, or you want to ask Hashem's mercy. When I'm asking Hashem's mercy... I'm not asking Hashem to judge the other person, to look at his situation. Is he worthy or not worthy? Does he have sins or mitzvahs or virtues? I'm not going into that. I'm talking now to Hashem's mercy. Hashem is Abba Rachman. He is the father of all, or the source of all mercy. And I'm asking him, Hashem, please, let's not look at the person. Let's look at your source of you are the father you care about your children. And I'm asking for my heart, from the depth of my heart. I'm going to have to ask for bracha. And also this person needs rachamim. He needs mercy in his life, whatever it should be. Panosa, shudducha, whatever. Health. So it says, if you ask for somebody else, you will be answered first. But what we talk about this week's parasha, what the Gemara is talking about in Sanhedrin, that first purify yourself, adorn yourself, and then others of what they were talking about, you want to change the person with his behavior. So you're you're getting into you're, you're getting involved in his in his situation. Over there, if you want to help a person, you want to erase his sins, first make yourself make sure you don't have that blemish yourself, and then you'll be able to fix another person. That's why this week's Pasha, when it comes to erasing sins. So you're dealing with the situation of the person, first yourself, and then comes others. But this Rabbi Levi Yitzhak says a very interesting thing. You see how the Gemara over there, where it says whoever asks for someone else, for someone else he will be helped first. He asking Hashem's Rachamim. Who is the one who says it? 
Rabba Bar Mori. So Rabba is the son, and his father, he's the son of Mori. So in generation wise, first came Mori, he's the father, and then came Rabba. And this is hinted in the name. And that's why you find not always does the Gemara say the when it says the name of Atana or Namura, does it say the name and his and his father's name? When it does say, explainably, Rebbe Levi has a connection to the theme of what he's talking about. Over here, it's so beautiful, fits so well. The father was Mori. The word Mori is Mem Reish Yud, comes to with bitter Mar, like we have by Pesach Moror. So first, the person's situation that you're praying for, you're asking Hashem's mercy, was not a good situation. He was Mori. He was Mar. It was bitter. He, that's what came before, just like the, the father comes before the son. And then when you pray, what will happen? Rabba. Rabba means abundance. Hashem will reveal rachamim and chasodim, kindness and goodness. And this is hinted also in the gematria. Rabba, Reish Beis Hey, adds up to 207. And that's the same gematria as Oyer. Aleph, Vov, Reish, Oyer. When you ask for somebody else, you will be answered first. It will bring Oyer the light to your life. And the other person will also be answered. You will bring tremendous amount of oil with light. You brighten up his life. You bring chasodim and rachamim, kindness and mercy to yourself and also to the other person. So it's so hinted with the name Rabba Bamori, the son, which means comes after is Rabba, an abundance or light. The father was Mori bitter. First, the situation is bitter. Then through your praying for others, you will be helped, and he will be helped. Others will be helped. You will bring a lot of rabba, a lot of kindness, and a lot of oil, light, and chasodim in everyone's life.